This is exactly what we're doing today. We're getting into the Christmas spirit and we're doing something festive, something creative. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so today we're going in with the James Charles Morphe palette. I love this palette with the color variety and as I used in my previous video doing the rainbow look, it literally just a rainbow of colors. So there's so many colors I need um, in here. I'm going to be going in with these two greens, the lighter one and the darker one. Um, on the right eye um, and also on the right I'm going to be going in with the red so I'm going to do like a green and red sort of Christmas moment but then on the left eye I'm going to be doing something a bit special so stay tuned for that but um, yeah I'm going to start with the light green and go with the darker green and transition into the red above the crease. We're going to be going in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Prime Potion, the original one, my absolute favourite. Just using the so I have a 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes. I've got a bit of the light green on there ready to go. Um, and we're just gonna start doing this on the lid. I'm just sort of using a packing motion just to get that little bit of color so far. And I'm sort of taking that on my lid, but just a little bit bit below the lid end of the lid line um, just so we can transition into that darker green quite nicely um, and then into the red and these colors aren't obviously going to be flourishing together um, but with a little bit of blending that should turn out pretty good and now using the same brush I've got um, a bit of the dark green on there um, we're gonna probably go in again with the colors um, not that they're not pigmented straight up I just sort of um, I'm a bit heavy handed, like I sort of fluff it around all over the place which makes the pigment sort of fly away from the area that I want. Um, and I always like to go in back in again at the end just to really pop the colours in, um, make them a bit brighter um, and like once the looks sort of all come together, I, yeah I just like to make the colours a bit more stronger. I'm just going to be going in with that just above uh, the end of the lid line and dragging it just a little bit above the crease. So we're not um, using a sweeping motion again, we're just packing um, sort of straight over the top of that light green so we can blend it in in the end to get up in there I sort of lift my eyelid up and look down which flattens out all your wrinkles <laughs> so you can really get in there and then I just like to start lightly dragging And again, don't worry about the mess, we'll clean it up at the end. And sometimes it's nice to do it with not so much product left on your brush because it creates this sort of like a blurring effect. I don't know if you can see, oh, getting my brush in focus in the corner of my eye there. It's sort of a little bit more fluffier than this edge. Now using that same brush, I'm gonna be going in with the red and just putting it again, sort of slightly on top of the darker green. Um, but more towards the brow bone. I'm actually going to maybe even drag it um, down here so we've got some more red in the inner corner um, and the light green sort of poking through in the inner. And see how it's sort of stopping here, I kind of want to just um, bring that darker green down almost because um, I feel like the red's had its moment now. And like I was saying before, now I'm just going to go back in with the colours and make them pop a bit more. Okay, so that's a close-up of my 
makeup look for that eye. What do you think? Very Christmassy. <laughs> Before we move on to this eye situation, um, I'm just going to do the rest of my face real quick and my eyebrows and we'll be right back. Side note, I love this foundation, which is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, but it just takes ages to work into the skin. So if you don't have time in the morning, uh, which I certainly never do, um, it's more of a foundation for probably yeah, night time going out if you've got time to you know really sit and do your makeup and blend for literally ages. <laughs> um, but apart from that, it's an amazing foundation. I really love it. The price tag, not so much either as well, but I really like it. This is a new product I got. It's the Benefit Brow Styler, um, and I'm in the shade three. Um, love this. It's got a wax pencil at the end, which you wind up, and then on the other end, it's got a little shaky thing inside. You twist it, and inside is a little tip brush a powder thing. I never really used to fill in my brows, but now I can't not fill in my brows because it just feels wrong. Like I get what everyone's saying now. So using this, uh, Benefit Brow Styler, love it. Good on your Benefit for making this. Now a bit like the rainbow drip that I did, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out, I'm, again, I'm not a very good drawer. I'm going to be using the NARS long, Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner, um, the black one. I love this because it's got a twisty top. We're going to be using this to carve out the Christmas tree and then basically like the rainbow look, fill it in with the colour. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> It is very hard to draw with eyeliner. This looks like shit. <laughs> Hopefully the colour can save it. So now we're going to be filling it with the colour. I'm probably going to be going in with this brown here or this darker brown here. Again, the same brush that I was using on the eye. Um, just because it's going to be easier to fill in is hopefully I'm not getting a lot of fallout. So I'm going to be going with a darker green um, on the edges and maybe lightening it up towards the center of the tree. Now I've got to draw a star. <laughs> really? I 
Guys, I'm not a good drawer like at all. Why is the star 10 times bigger than the fucking tree? Wow. Now we're gonna go in with some yellow for the star. Okay, so as you guys just seen, I just put some glitter on my star. Looks like a kid's drawing, but whatever. I can't draw for shit, I don't care. I don't get how these people can draw these massive, like, beautiful, like, paintings on their face. Like, I just can't do that. With my finger, I'm just going to be diving into some, like, shimmery colours, just to sort of sparkle this tree up a little bit. Okay, so now I really want to add these little gems to my tree as little baubles. I'm going to do something really fun on this eye. Um, I'm going to be using these and these. Just taking a little bit of that gray and popping it in the lower lash line darker green and then just using any Morphe blending brush I'm just going to be sweeping that in I'm going to be adding some icy highlight to this look going in with the Marc Jacobs 80 worth the weight this beautiful vanilla um, highlight just taking some on a Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer brush 227 I'm just going to be going along the brow bone with that one gotta have that highlight for Christmas on the nose Cupid's bow just taking this Mecca Cosmetica highlight brush that I got from them for my birthday just gonna be going with the same highlight on the cheeks and building it up. Now some lippy and mascara and then we're done. I've been wanting to use this forever. It's the Pat McGrath, um, I think it's the Glitz lipsticks that they had. $60 for this bad boy, like seriously, but it's in the shade Fuchsia Perfect 073. Um, and this lipstick is just, just perfect. So I think it's gonna go perfect with our sort of gluey, dewy, sparkly holiday glow. Now for mascara, I'm just going to be going with the Roller Lash Mascara. I actually haven't got a full version yet. Um, I've only got the mini. I've been meaning to get a new mascara for ages, but it's just one of those things where you just forget. <laughs>
Now for finishing spray I'm going to be going with the Too Faced Festival Refresh setting spray that I bought out with their unicorn collection a while ago. Um, you shake it up and all the pearlescence shimmering around inside gives you a dewy glow. But I'm going to be using the little one that I had um, instead of starting a new one. And that is it for my Christmas look guys. Oh my god it's been a journey. Um, what do you all think? What do you like? My earrings? My cute little uh, reef necklace and earrings. Um, so what do we all think of the look? I love this eye with the diamantes on it. Um, surprised with how that turned out. The tree, which turned out a little bit better because I'm really bad at drawing. But hey, it's Christmas. It's fun. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something different. Um, Christmas time is meant to be a fun time of the year, so I wanted to create something fun and silly and festive. And I hope you guys have a really good Christmas, a uh, happy and safe New Year, and all the best for 2020. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the year. I'm hoping to make many more videos for you guys in 2020. Uh, I'm going to try and set a schedule. Um, get some videos up for you guys so let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see from me next year like more makeup tutorials more gaming videos um, sit down get ready with me chit chats question and answers like you know just let me know what you guys want to see and I'll I'll do it thanks again guys for watching my video have a happy and safe Christmas and I'll see you all in the new year bye Jingle bell, ding, and jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle